I'm going to ask one quick question. I, I, when I was a kid, I traveled through Cuba with a circus, and uh, the lion trainer on the circus, they called him El Flaco, uh, he claimed he had never eaten a meal in his adult life. He lived on beer. He drank about 48 bottles of beer a day. And uh, I traveled with him, you know, through all the compo, through all the little towns and uh, the railroad show. And we used to spy on him and try to see if he ever went anywhere to eat, you know, because we had a cookhouse and everybody could see he never ate there. So was he doing that? Was his body just picking out of beer enough that he could take care of his, his yes, life? Yes, and it's not a bad choice. <laughs> There's a lot of nutrition in what beer is made from. So it does work then. Okay. We were suspicious, but we never could catch him eating anything. It's odd to us that that surprises you. Look at your cattle in the field. They don't have much variety at all. And you say, oh, they're different. And we say, yeah, they think differently. <laughs> variety in food is very helpful to you, but not necessary. I came from a family of drinkers. Like my mother would have a glass of wine every year and daddy would try to sneak off and have a beer once a month when he went in for feed into the feed store. So. Uh, when this guy drank all this beer, it was really a, an amazing event. You and the live, lion, the lion. You live on salmon and, <laughs> and, and spinach. And spinach. Yeah, it's just, oh, I guess that's not much you, better. You live on a very limited diet. That's true, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's somehow different. Okay, thank Good you. Good time for a segment of refreshment. <laughs> thank you. Here we are.